Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is Jerry. This is the all new MGZZV. Um, but in this video, I'll show you the central locking system. Um, this is also available on the MGZST, so it's going to be very similar. But if you do want to check the MGHS video, I'll do another video in the future about the central locking. So, as the key blade looks like, this is the lock. The Wimmer goes in and unlock the Wimmer opens up and if you do unlock but the vehicle didn't have any one opening the door within 30 seconds the vehicle auto lock itself by the way so that's how that works and uh, when you are on the driver or passenger side you can simply just touch this button to lock and unlock as we have this key entry system again touch this button that will unlock that's pretty easy uh, if you driving the EV you also have this charging port so this can only be opened when the central locking is uh, unlocked by the way and when you lock the vehicle in case your, your door is sort of half closed or not fully closed or anything like that if you press the lock button the vehicle give you a beep and horn just like that so that's how that works it means one of your doors is not locked and if you accidentally leave your key car key in the vehicle if you press this button it will not allow you to lock the vehicle that's how that works and to release the boot there are a few ways to manually release as long while doors are open uh, you can just easily unlock the boot that's pretty easy but if your vehicle is locked just like that two ways one way from distance you can press and hold this button that allows you to unlock the boot so press and hold just like that the boot itself unlocked so your driver door or your passenger door uh, or all the doors are still locked only the boot itself is unlocked and when you close the boot all your doors are locked just like that it will relock again uh, so you don't need to do anything otherwise another way as long as you have the key with you as long as you're close to the vehicle you don't actually need to tap the button all you need to do just push this logo on the top that will unlock itself just like that so because you have the sensor inbuilt that's enough so the distance allow you to unlock so pretty easy with that so the key is entry with front driver passenger at the front and also boot unlock that's good and then now we jump in the vehicle we have this small cover underneath as on the door handle you can see this button over here that allows you to unlock the the, the cover so when you open the cover you can actually engage in the manual key lock so what we want to do to unlock that manual key we have the key blade over here you have to press this button over this side that opens the key case and then once the key case is open just pull this out and make sure you twist it so it's an l-shaped key so what we want to do we want to get out the vehicle and if we close the door like this so you can access to it just over here so you can see the small hole over here you just use this key to sort of twist around that'll pinch the hole open once it's open you can push the key inside twist around that allows you to unlock the um, unlock the, the key with the manual key over here and just make sure you put it back after you finish and to put it back make sure the second key small key blade is on the outer side and push that in click it that means it's all secured just like just like that and when you are inside as long as the vehicle key is working you don't need to do anything as long as the key is inside put the foot on the brake and press this button to start the motor or engine whichever the vehicle you are driving and if your key has run of the battery or if you're in a particular area that signal actually blocked your car key to actually sense the vehicle what you want to do you can see the car over there you have a sensor over there just make sure you place the key nice and flat over there to switch on the vehicle by foot on the brake or push button either this side or the other side mg logo up and down have both both give it both a try and when you start the vehicle if you don't put the foot on the brake when you touch the button once it's going to show this orange light first light on the right that means you all your only your center entertainment screen will be switched on and then press the button again you'll get your green light will switch on that means your your digital dash and also your aircon is switched on just like that but to switch on the motor and on the ev it will show you the hv battery shuts off don't worry it's not faulty it just means you haven't fully switched on the vehicle so what you want to do pull down the brake press this button and then rings again that means it's ready or when you drive a petrol zsd it means your engine is now switched on the motor is running and then central locking on the driver door so unlock lock pretty easy uh, when you just press lock unlock just like that and uh, otherwise you just open the door just like this when you lock the vehicle when you use the door handle on the driver's side to unlock all the doors will unlock 
you have to pull twice by the way the first time so i'll show you first pull allows you to unlock all the doors so pull that the driver door still doesn't open second pull allows you to open the driver door just like that when you drive off to a certain speed 15 kilometers per hour on the road the vehicle will unlock all its uh, sorry the vehicle will lock all its doors and then if your vehicle slow down and come to a complete stop and if you switch off the vehicle your doors will automatically be released or disengage the central locking pretty easy but when your central locking is engaged when you're not moving if the passenger or rear passenger wants to get out of the vehicle they need to put the door handle twice so i'm going to lock again or the central locking is engaged they will put once the door doesn't open just yet you put a second now the door does open just like that so that's how to get out of the vehicle when the central locking is engaged and then that's yeah that's basically how that works on the zst you can't change that function but on the new ev you are able to change the central locking if you wish so on the secondary screen we are going to the vehicle settings uh, we can go to the convenience and go to the door lock that allows you to engage the auto door lock when you drive off automatically locks the doors power off unlock we power off the vehicle automatically disengage the central locking if you do not wish to have any of these features you can disengage uh, if you wish it's pretty easy and last thing is the baby lock or safety lock for kiddie lock whatever you want to call it so at behind the rear door inside the rear door you have this small lever over here just twist it all the way with the arrow button that means and um, the the key lock is on when you close the door you can open from the outside um, but you cannot open from the inside so it's safe for you know kids everyone in the back otherwise twist it backwards that's gonna disengage it only works for the rear both rear doors by the way so yeah that's for this video i hope this is helpful and uh, let me know if you have any questions and um, yeah make sure you subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video thank you very much see you bye